So hello and welcome back to AutoCAD tutorials. In today's session, we are going to see how we can calculate our quantity for external plaster. So for that, again, we have to repeat the same process of uh, polylines passing through the surface where we have to apply external plaster. So I won't go into the depth how we have to rotate the polyline throughout the periphery of the building. This has been already shown in the video where we have taken the concept of built up area. So I have given the link in description for that. You can go and check how we can rotate our complete polyline throughout the building with some tricks as well to reduce our work efforts. Now, as you can see, I have made our polyline from where external plaster is to be applied and I have shifted that polyline separately. Now, what we have to do is we have to calculate the perimeter of this whole line. Why perimeter is required? Because we know our floor to floor height of a building and we know the perimeter so we can directly do length into width and we can get the area of external plaster. So for that, what we will do is we will click on this object and press LI that is list LI enter. So here you can see we have area we don't have to do anything with the area because this is the enclosed area within the polyline. We have to do with perimeter. Perimeter is 280.343 for the outer periphery of the building. So we will save this value of 280.343. I will just mention it over here. 380.343. Three four three meters. So I will just scale this little bit down and I will keep this over here. Let us again check whether it is right or wrong. It's 280.343. So now we have two more polylines. We will similarly take off their length as well 49.75. I will just copy it down here. This and this. This was for this length was 49.75. So I will just change this to 49.75 meters. And this is 33.18 meters. So I will change this as well. 33.18 meters. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have taken the length. Now we can do length into height so we can get the area of complete plaster. But what in this drawing we have is we have openings such as this windows, window, this particular D3 door, ventilators and all windows, this Jali, we have to deduct this all thing. We have window five, we have to deduct this all thing. So what we can do is we will not count each and every window. We will just see, see a shortcut how we can calculate it, how we can count the number of windows and everything in the drawing. So for that, we will type count C O U N T. Now you can see on the screen count is equivalent to Q select. So we can also type Q select or we can select count. It's up to us. I hit enter. Now dialog box has appeared on the screen. Now I will select M text from here and I will select contents. So first let us calculate how much window four we have. So as you can see, nothing has been selected on this screen. So for that, what we can do is just click on here, do select similar. Now you can see everything has been selected. So what we can do is just copy it. And I always specify, take a perfect reference point for everything. So you can see we have copied this here. Now for the whole drawing, it has copied because we have done select similar. Now I will just simply delete this all because we are interested only in this much portion of our drawing. So what we can do is 
select only text so for that use selection window not the crossing window by selection window select this everything and the unwanted thing which are selected can be deselected by pressing shift and hold press and hold shift and click on the object so now just press x for explore explode it now this multiple text line has been converted into single text now we can calculate our objects for example i am pressing q select enter now select from here now we are in text m text has been converted into text so click on text contents equal to for example first we will go by simple w windows so as you can see here eight items has been selected means we have total eight number of windows in our drawing so we will just note it down somewhere that we have eight numbers of windows in our drawing similarly we are going to calculate each and everything again we will take text contents now content will be equal to w1 now you can see if we have four w1 in our drawing similarly we will calculate each and everything the the schedule which we have here we will calculate numbers of w w1 w2 w3 w4 5 6 7 8 ventilators and jali now just look one thing here that we have not got our jali here because that was made in some other layer so just keep in mind we have two numbers of jali on each floor so we will calculate this and i will keep my excel sheet ready for your reference till then we will see what we can we have to do further in our analysis now as you can see in excel we have made our sheet for the calculation of area of plaster so what we will do here is simply here we have height of 3.1 meter for example so what we will do is we will directly multiply these numbers with this perimeter and height so i got the area of plaster similarly now we have to make the deductions for the following now as you can see in our autocad drawing i will better show here it's very readable here we have many windows w1 w4 door d3 ventilator window 8 window 5 everything which falls around our peripheral line will be deducted from the plaster quantity so for that we have made already count we have made number of counts of each and every object and we have specified here in deductions so now for length and height we can refer our schedule given along with this drawing so what we will do we will just directly take schedule from here size and we will enter here so for here 2.4 2.05 now next window one we have 2.15 2.05 similarly we will enter each and every sizes from here So now we have entered each and every size as well from our drawing. So what we will do is we have to deduct this quantity. So we will proceed our equation with minus sign minus numbers into length into height. So it will directly prompt here a negative value. So just scroll it down. So now what we will do is we will just make auto sum of it. So from here we will get the total quantity of 
plaster in terms of square meters that is area we have got aerial quantity from here but what we are missing one thing is that we have taken height of 3.1 for this whole area but as we can see in our drawing it is written over here grill above 1.2 meter parapet height so let's just ignore it let this be completely closed area so this will be our external plaster quantity but on site when we have to order our plaster material we have to specify sand and cement separately so for that what we can do is we can assume a uh, thickness of the plaster for say example of 30 mm specify 0 0.03 meters over here and we will just multiply this so we have derived our quantity of plaster in terms of cubic meter so now what we can do is to identify the quantity of sand and cement is that assume a ratio now assume ratio of plaster i am working in external plaster so i will assume it 1 is to 4 so what i can do is sorry for the spelling mistake what i can do is i will divide this quantity with our ratio that is 1 plus 4 we have got uh, this particular number so now quantity of cement will be just expand this quantity of cement will be this into one this will come in terms of cubic meters so this will be the quantity of cement required and this will be the quantity of sand required sand is in fourth proportion so we will do this into four so this much cubic meter of sand will be required so now we order cement in terms of bags and we know volume for one cement bag is 0 .00, 0 0.035 so we will just divide it by 0 0.035 so we have got our answer as 167 bags of cement will be required and we will require sand of 23.39 cubic meters so in this way we calculate our quantity of cement and sand on site by using autocad and excel so hope so you are clear with this tutorial and if you have any kind of doubt so you can directly mention in the comment box we will solve here and also i would like to mention that if you want to study further about the cracks and everything in the plaster how it is done on site so you can visit a website called civilquery.com it is a very nice website i have seen it and i personally believe that it's very nice for theoretical study so do visit i have given link in the description as well so thanks for watching this video please do like share and subscribe if you like this thank you